spaceship will self-destruct in three, two, one. Spaceship destroyed. But I've still got the greatest enthusiasm and confidence in the mission. Looks like we escaped that horrible explosion in the nick of time. You okay, Max? I don't feel disintegrated. You? No more than usual. But it felt like landing on a boiled ham. Oops. Sorry, Mr. Featherly. Forgot you were in there. The indignities I'm made to suffer! Why on earth have you brought me here? Do you recognize this place? Does no one study the classics anymore? Eh, well, we're obviously in the eternal twilight at the banks of the River Styx. The land of the dead. <laughs> oh boy, all the coolest people are dead. I should have brought my autograph book. Well, you've delivered Bosco to his final rest, so let's be off, shall we? Come on, we can't just leave Bosco here. Yeah, we should at least staple a note to him or something. No, we're gonna have to find Bosco's soul and get it back into his body. Uh, I knew the peace and quiet was too good to last. How'd we end up on our own street? You mean, we've been living over the gateway to hell all this time and never took advantage of it? Our condo association is going to be receiving a very stern letter about this. Ah, oh, shoot. There's a giant time-traveling elevator blocking the door. Somebody's blocking our office door from the inside. Whee! Somebody's blocking our office door from the inside. Featherly laid an egg. Don't ask me how. that remote control, would you? You're gonna need this! Thanks, buddy. Be you later. Looks like the rat seedy giant robot carcass casino is finally getting a light show. Not casino, family entertainment complex. Get it right. Nuh uh. The remote won't do much good while he's dead. Nah. It's all neat and computery. It's got to help out with your laser light show. Thanks, Sam and Max. This'll be perfect. 
At first, I was afraid. I was petrified. That ain't right. What did you guys do? Reconfiguring neural network, dumbass. So, you're back from outer space. Evacuate! Evacuate! Did you think I'd crumble? Ah! Ah! Did you think I'd lay down and die? Ah! Oh no, not I. I will survive. I will survive. Tiny Timmy. <laughs> so cold. So f cold. Medic! Hello! For emergency medical service, press or say one now. Just save my boy! Hang on, Timmy! Live, damn it! Live! Well, if that doesn't help us get into hell, nothing will. Me, let me! There'll be snow flurries in hell before I let you have control of a two-story tall battle robot, Max. Here I go again, on my own. Domo arigato, Mr. Obato. Ooh, it's getting hot down there. Hiya, Flint. What's shaking? Can't talk, fellas. I'm still waiting for Bosco to get back. Oh, we already found Bosco. Yeah, his corpse is already decaying down in the sewer. Heh, <laughs> that's cute, little pals. But I got a 40-year-old case to wrap up here. Seriously injured rats, and I've got a quota to fill. Hold your pale horses. We're working on it.
One adult and one max, please. How did you guys get a token? We've done things, Harry. Things we're not proud of. Wicked things. Shut up, Max. Er, zombie Abraham Lincoln didn't want his. Oh, good. Put your token in the machine to call the train. Everybody get on board, because we about to take a ride on the Soul Train. Next stop, we going straight to hell, baby. Jorgen. Uh, one moment. This is hell. Danke for holding. No. Hell. Y what number were you trying to reach? No. We are 666. Yeah. N no problem. Happens all the time. See you soon. Can I help you? We want to talk to the guy in charge. All too early. I see. Well, his schedule... You are... Uh, um, Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Sam and Max. Hmm. Oh, yes. The ones who sent me here. Oh, I'll get right on that. Jürgen, be a peach and clear out my calendar for... Oh, dear. Who authorized this? A giant horned skull? Really? I'm sorry. I thought it was 2008. Oh, very well. Cancel all my appointments, would you? I'll be in my office. Oh, did I forget to introduce you? <laughs> How careless of me. You can have a seat and wait if you like. Can we have your keycard? Well, considering you already took it, I guess so. I don't need it anymore, now that I'm full-time in hell, suckers. Yeah, Brady, you win! I'm impressed by the decor, but what kind of place is this? Must be the kids' play area. They've got little play sets of all our pals. Hey, Bosco! Hang on, I know what this is. This is where they keep all the souls of people who died during our cases. They opened it already? But I had a speech prepared and everything!
looks like some fancy key card reader. Sam the Devourer. Very flattering likeness. Is that Grandpa Stinky? Ha! <laughs> More looky loos come to see the big show, have ye? That looks like our car. What did it do to deserve hell? I guess these days you just have to be an accomplice. Go. We see you in there. Oh, dear God, they're watching me. Oh, help me! Was it something we said? Our DeSoto's in there, cruising the endless highway. Our DeSoto's in there, cruising the endless highway. Still running at peak efficiency. In hell, misery is job one. Help me! Sam the Devourer. Very flattering like this. Oh no! Stop. I'll never get any work done with that infernal cry! <gasps> Help me! There's an appalling lack of security around here. Don't you mean appealing? Of course! What did I say? 
Max the Destroyer. Oh, they got my bad side. I want a do-over. It's everyone we know who's died in the last year. I must have lost count. Ah, the key card unlocked the dioramas. Where to? Watch me! Vasco! You're... nude. Silence. Silence! It's okay, baby. We're all still watching you. For eternity. Uh. It's nitrous oxide. It looks like Bosco has some dental work in his future. It'll be twice as hilarious without anesthesia. We expanded again. I thought I'd finally figured out how to keep the weight off. This ought to boost the DeSoto spirit. Wow, the tank just shrunk to the perfect size when I put it in. Now that's efficiency. Our DeSoto's in there, cruising the endless highway. What's the hold up, Grandpa? Gun it! This is as fast as it goes, a little buddy. We are in hell! Looks like Sam and Max got themselves into another jam. Let's see what happens when old Bosco's demons get a load of this. That's something else, I tell you what. I'm impressed and delighted. I just can't look away. Oh my God, I'm not being watched. I'm free. Quick, Bosco, let's vamoose or skedaddle, whichever's faster. Vamoose! All right, guys, you actually did it. Actually? Yeah, but that Satan dude still owns my soul. I'm gonna chill here till you work things out with him. Chill in hell. That, uh, <clears throat> yeah, that's good.
Looks like some kind of vaguely familiar hellish toy factory, Max. Oh boy, I want to see the assembly line where they injection mold the doll's heads. I hear it's strangely hypnotic. Oh, there's no assembly line. I make all my toys one at a time. It's the only way to guarantee each child loves it as much as I do. Look, Max, it's our favorite demonically possessed elf. Well, maybe not favorite, but he's in the top five at least. Oh, hey guys. What toy are you working on now? It's the hottest new toy for Christmas. The Rex Skirmish Danger Hero action figure. He's a testosterone-packed champion of the glorious art of savage brutality. Sounds like someone's overcompensating. The head office keeps sending him back, but I know I can make him perfect. Max and I wrote the book on gleefully violent entertainment. I'm especially proud of the appendix, detailing the ripping out thereof. Why don't you let us help with your toy? Hmm, maybe I have been overthinking it. Your childish simplicity could be just what I need. Childlike. All right. First, what kind of cool outfit should he have? He should be all buff and shirtless, with a big flaming skull tattoo on his chest. Done! Now, what should his action-packed attachment be? A biodiesel-powered chainsaw caked with the blood of eco-terrorists. I can do that. Now, what's his tragic flaw? What drives him to seek out danger? He's got highly caustic acid for blood, and various related digestive disorders. Hmm, okay. Thanks for the suggestions, guys. I'll whip up a prototype. Hmm, Santa's workshop, the jolly old elf working hard on his delivery, the sound of children playing, and a jaunty Christmas jingle. How could this possibly be hell? Maybe Santa's Jewish? Losing blood. Guess this is the end of old Rex skirmish. Gee, Sam, if you don't like the gift, just say so next time. Did you come to enjoy my wonderful toy? <laughs> I thought I'd never be rid of those blasted types. 
Oh, listen to that silence. <laughs> it's heaven. Thank you, Sam and Max. You have been very good boys. But as long as Satan owns our souls, we have to stay put. Now, my next dish is based on a favorite recipe of Grandpa Stinky's. <laughs> which I'm taking to the ninth circle of hell. To the base of milk and pickle juice, just add a little chocolate-covered horseradish. Damn! And after the break, another circle! Woo-hoo! Woo! Ah, get a hold of yourselves. Nothing is that exciting. Growing up stinky, the early years. Trashy celebrity biographies and hell are a natural combination. Someone opened the two teeth drawer. Wow, Jimmy's personal file is huge. He must have been committing a dozen unpardonable sins a week. Slacker. No more two teeth files in here.
Mr. Bliss, I... Oh, you Bliss! Yes, I know. I took a great risk hiring a sentient bacteria to work for us. But the numbers are making me believe I made a mistake. Oh, don't say that! I still believe you're doing a great job! Oi! Diablo! Not you again. Go away. Have a wonderful day! We're not getting that guy's attention until we bring the whole place down. Oh, Sam and Max, you're here! I've been dying to tell you. You'll never guess what Abe did during our date last night. We stopped speculating about that months ago. It was making me lose my appetite. Sam, shut it! Girlfriend, dish! He actually got down on one jowl and asked me to marry him! Congrats, I guess. I've got so much planning to do. I'd be a wreck if I didn't have the monster to help. Oh... It's no bother. Don't judge me for this, Max. It's for his own good. Bless you.
right. Monster. Monster. Hmm. I've never handled a monster before. I'll have to figure out how this works exactly. It's Timmy Two Teeth's permanent record. Looks like he's led a pretty sin-free life. I always knew that kid was all talk and no action. Yikes, don't touch that. It's hotter than a third rail at rush hour. I'm feeling a little homesick, Sam. No point in going there, the car's gone. Thanks to us, the elf will never again be enslaved in a factory. Until he goes back to his regular job, of course. The DeSoto's free at last. Free at last. Grandpa Stinky looks even more miserable than usual. I didn't think it was possible.
let's get out of here. They may have been killed by a giant robot, but at least the rats got to see a true celebrity in action. How are you folks enjoying the show? I thought the casino was nice, but this? What a treat! I ain't no expert on food or nothing, but that Stinky's a master chef. I think we're gonna have to come down here for vacation every year. Yeah, it's pretty Sweet. Tyrone! Uh, 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 uh. Now, Miss Stinky, I've warned you about the responsibilities that come with hosting a live program. It won't happen again, I promise. Okay, just keep the language clean and that'd be fabulous! I'd hate to have to cancel such a wonderful show! I will slaughter you all! Let us retire to our wing, Sam. I'd like to take some notes. Grandpa Stinky looks even more miserable than usual. I didn't think it was possible. When are they going to wise up and cancel this offensive show? The 
They may have been killed by a giant robot, but at least the rats got to see a true celebrity in action. Yes, I have a question for Miss Stinky. Your seven layer bars turned my stool bright orange. Is that normal? You will pay for your insolence! Yes, I have a question for Miss Stinky. Your seven layer bars turned my stool bright orange. Is that normal? You will pay for your insolence! You rats actually enjoy Stinky's food? Oh, no, no, it tastes like... Tyrone! Oops, like, well, you know, but we can't resist it. Stinky's a genius. You see, Stinky's cooking speaks to the rat within us all. They may have been killed by a giant robot, but at least the rats got to see a true celebrity in action. You rats actually enjoy Stinky's food? Oh, no, no, it tastes like... Tyrone! Oops, like, well, you know, but we can't resist it. Stinky's a genius. You see, Stinky's cooking speaks to the rat within us all. Hi, Stinky. What's cooking? <laughs> I've been wondering when you two would show up. He remembered us! So what is the deal between you and girl Stinky anyway? She was my protege. I made her what she is today. But now they call me her apprentice. Pah! Your hell is just being on a TV show? I thought for sure a mean old coot like you would end up buried up to your neck in poo or something. Yeah, this doesn't seem so bad. Not bad. Just look at that crowd hanging on her every word. And they've got the nerve to reduce me to her... her sous chef. I can't appreciate a real genius of the culinary dark arts. We'll let you get back to the show. Yeah, we can't wait to try out Girl Stinky's next dish. You're so lucky to get to work with her. Bah! You rats actually enjoy Stinky's food? Oh. Tyrone! Oops, like... You see, Stinky's... They may have been killed by a giant... 
Yes, I have a question for Miss Stinky. Your you will pay for your insolence! Thanks to viewers like you and my bosses at the network, this show should last for eternity! It's magically sealed. Grandpa Stinky looks even more miserable than usual. I didn't think it was possible. We did warn you about Max's special dietary needs, right? Go away! Get out of here. So Stinky's got her own show. What's the big deal? Every second this show stays on the air is like swallowing another handful of acid-dipped razor blades, twisting and churning in my gut. Well, as long as you aren't bitter. We were right all along. Girl Stinky really did murder you. Maybe next time a couple of travelers from the future come to you with a warning, you'll pay attention. Murdered my impacted colon? Twas naught but a mountain climbing accident that felled old Stinky. Did you say you were killed in a mountain climbing accident? Aye, I was in the Himalayas, halfway up the north face of the Devil's Nipple, when my support cables just fell off. If only someone had developed a better adhesive. We'll let you get back to the show.
Let us retire to our wing, Sam. I'd like to take some notes. Let us retire to our wing, Sam. I'd like to take some notes. Death is kind of pesky, isn't he? What's going on here, cops? We have set up an emergency triage station to care for the rats injured in the recent robot attack. I need 20 milligrams of monosodium glutamate stat. How come there's only one rat here? We're not very good at medicine, apparently. <laughs> it's really pretty sad. What car upgrades are you offering this time? Turn your vehicle into a super-fast, nitro-burning funny car! For a limited time only. Offer and Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. Oh, yeah! I can take that mother out on the straightaway, push her to the red line till she screams, pop the clutch, kick you the afterburners, and smoke them pigs as I sail over the county line! Woo! You can't see over the wheel, Max. Fascist. So long, cops. Stay virtuous! How are you holding up, Timmy? Is that an angel? He ain't got much time left. He's starting to hallucinate, and the Tourette's is getting worse. What's that, St. Peter? Why, yes, I'd love to play with you. <laughs> oh,
I'm feeling a little homesick, Sam. The DeSoto's free at last, free at last. Thanks to us, the elf will never again be enslaved in a factory. Until he goes back to his regular job, of course. I'm feeling a little homesick, Sam. No one's watching Bosco anymore. Not here, anyway. Santa's workshop is now happily child-free. The DeSoto's free at last, free at last. Grandpa Stinky looks even more miserable than usual. I didn't think it was possible.
runs off that permanent record. By the looks of this kid, I'm gonna be needing that any minute. There's still a chance he'll pull through, right? Uh, sure. Hands off that permanent record! Be strong, Timmy. Don't f worry. I feel like I'm bathed in light and floating on a cloud of teen. Harry, how'd you get back up here so fast? Guys, I'm omnipresent. Now, keep it down. These mortals can't see or hear me. Please, Death, you can't take Timmy. He ain't never hurt nobody. Not damn. What are you doing up here? I'm looming. Part of the job description. You wouldn't be so cruel as to take poor tiny Timmy away, would you? Just look at the kid. He's got the life expectancy of a tomato and a knife commercial. Heartless fiend. Can I watch? I don't see what everybody's so upset about. He's going to a better place than this one. Mm, that doesn't really narrow it down much. Heaven, dimwit! How's the death business going? It's finally slowed down, now that those rats have shuffled off. But it'd be easier if I didn't have to cover every death myself. An assistant or a partner would, would help everything. Yeah, that's what you think at first. Timmy seems like a nice enough kid. Why not give him a break? It's out of my control. He could go at any moment, but don't worry. A kid with his permanent record is definitely going to heaven. You've got to take care of everybody that dies all by yourself? No, oh, it's not as bad as it sounds. All my travel and expenses are covered. You've got to take care of everybody that dies all by yourself? Take it easy, Harry. The idea that death is actually Harry Molman makes me think seriously about therapy. Thank you. Again? All right. Which form to use? Your own good, kid. It'll make the eulogy more interesting. What did you f do? Give that f back! 
Settle down, Timmy. The doctors say if you exert yourself, those f stole my f A simple, straightforward death. Let me just look at his file and we can go straight off to... File? Harry, please. You can't expect us to do your job for you. I could have sworn it was smaller. Kid must have really been busy on his deathbed. You should have seen it. It was like every single letter ever written to Hot Bunny combined into one debaucherous rampage. Oh well. You can tell me about it on the way to hell then. Later! They may have been killed by a giant robot, but at least the rats got to see a true celebrity in action. Yes, I have a question for Miss Stinky. Your seven layer bars turned my stool bright orange. Is that normal? You will pay for your insolence! Whee! You rats actually enjoy Stinky's food? Oh, no, no, it tastes like... Tyrone! Oops, like, well, you know, but we can't resist it. Stinky's a genius. You see, Stinky's cooking speaks to the rat within us all. Hiya, Timmy. Is your soul finally at peace? No, I'm not at peace, Mr. Max. I'm f***ing static to be on stage with such a f***ing genius. Hmm, what was that? What is he doing? Calm down, kid. Did you taste her f***ing nut log with whipped Simply divine. Oh, my. Oh, no. And the smells. It's like teen p Ooh, With a I simply cannot allow this. This show is canceled! Well, that was exciting. What? Canceled? You're finally free, Grandpa Stinky. Seeing you denied everything. Made to suffer like I suffered. I can't remember when I've been so happy. Hmm, was that a happy ending or not? I just can't tell anymore. I suppose I should be grateful. But I'm not! Until you reprobates get the rights to my soul, I still can't leave! Looks like we've broken hell. Don't worry, we can always raise some more. I'll bet that high and mighty Satan jerk won't be too busy to talk to us now.
I was under the impression you were here to increase productivity. Blarg? And yet our efficiency is at an all-time low. How do you explain that discrepancy? Uh, Blarg Blarg? We haven't been properly introduced. We're Sam and Max. You know, from the statues. Pleased to meet you. I hope you've guessed my name. Yeah, and you better release our pal Souls from Hell, because my excitable little friend is getting angry. And I'm angry, too! There's no need for that kind of talk. I'll gladly release your friends. Just sign this release. And that's that. Well, gee, Satan. Thanks. Now, just do me a favor and think of the most horrible thing you can imagine. Hmm, okay. No, wait. Okay. Good. Now, off you go. Hey, what just happened? He traded his soul for that of all your friends. They never read the fine print. Now, Sam will spend eternity in his own personal hell. Huh, I'm back in the office. This doesn't seem so bad. Right, little buddy? That's right, partner! Hey, Max, look alive. What do I do with this? Don't eat it. Just get in here. Max, meet Demon Peepers. Oh, hi! Demon Peepers here says he's my partner and best friend. Hey there! What are you... Oh, God! Stop that! Cut it out! Hey! Bye, Leonard. That was some of your best work ever, Max. I'm particularly proud of what I did around the carotid artery. Yes, excellent grouping. Shall we motor? Let's! What the devil? That hell was practically inescapable. Sorry, Satan. Your demon imposter was no match for the true power of friendship and cooperation. Plus, I ripped out his kidneys. Well, this does put me into a bit of a pickle. Management will have my head over this. Management? Who could possibly be more horrible and universally reviled than Satan? Took you long enough. I take it you already know my bosses. Know us? These fools have been essential to our plans. But how did you but get? You can't and beat when did Satan. you? And how what long have you got against us? And what did we do? Please, one question at a time. So you meant to get Santa possessed by a demon? No, that was a clerical error. We thought some corporate efficiency would help Satan get his act together. But it seems he'll always be antiquated and useless. You know I'm standing right here. We did mean to kill that elf, though. What makes you guys think you'll be better at running hell than Satan is? The old ways are dying. It's time to bring evil into the 21st century. Our subcontracting and outsourcing of soul capture and processing has increased our efficiency tenfold. But we still have to convince the shareholders to believe in hell as a relevant player in the afterlife. Current marketplace realities and underlying economic considerations mean we have to downsize! Satan, we kept you on staff for sentimental reasons, but your performance continues to disappoint. But if you'll give me another chance... Clean out your desk and don't come back! That was fun! 
We've heard quite enough, thank you. Very well. Now that you've helped us depose Satan, there's nothing stopping us from continuing our agenda for domination of the infernal realms! Thanks, Sam and Max. We couldn't have done it without you! First action item, seducing a human woman and conceiving the new Hellspawn. I'm all over it! Second, tempting humanity to repeat the original sin. I've got it covered. And finally, winning a new modern soul over to hell. Because of the technical skill required, I'll be handling that one, obviously. Thanks for all your help, Sam and Max. <laughs> wow, I think unwittingly bringing about the apocalypse is a first for us, little buddy. Mm. Huh? Oh, sorry, I completely zoned out there. Did they say anything important? Never mind. Hey, pals, come on in. We're throwing one hell of a bachelor party for Lincoln in here. Party? I haven't been paying you to party. I spent 40 years tracking down the man who trashed my store, hiring the best private investigators. It's time you tell me where he is. Tell me where he is. Well, there he is. Bosco? Uh, Mama? You mean you never thought to mention that your suspect was my son? I thought it was obvious. You're the one who's been after me all this time? It was all just a simple misunderstanding. <laughs> yeah, that is pretty daffy. A lifetime of persecution. All just a simple misunderstanding. Hope you're not mad, baby. We all go a little mad sometimes, Mother. Run along to the bunker, and I'll be in later with your dinner. I'm a ghost, baby. I don't eat dinner. Just do it! Bye, Sam and Max. Well, now that case is wrapped up. I'm off to the party. You coming, Bosco? Party? Oh, hell yeah! Well, we rescued Bosco from hell. Just as crazy as when we left him. Maybe even crazier! Somebody's blocking our office door from the inside. only the freshest ingredients in our popper's own forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. One sip, and for the first time, you know the difference between good and evil. I don't know. I've heard some bad things. Ah, our competitors are just afraid that if you start selling this, you'll become too successful. I don't need to tell you the advantages of an exclusive beverage distribution deal, seeing as how you're such a savvy businesswoman. <laughs> Can we borrow some of your stuff, Satan? 
Well, I suppose so. I was hoping to sell it on eBay, but I've received no bids. You know, your screen name, Father of Lies 666, might have something to do with that. Let's see here. One super long barbed paperclip chain. And the popper said you weren't being productive. Snack size bag of pork rinds. Great taste from the great deceiver. And one grocery list written on company letterhead. I know you're the source of all evil, but wasting office supplies for personal use, that's just wrong. Some word magnets, haphazardly arranged. Work or the Dark Lord will eat your soul. Hmm, I would have gone with work or the Dark Lord will eat your donut. It's a list of swear words. And Hey, buddy. Look, it's Hugh Bliss. Hi, I'm Hugh Bliss. Fine, don't say hi. Nice trick with your head. Do exorcisms work on people already in hell? Later, Hugh Bliss. Max, distract Mr. Bliss for me. Hmm, I seem to be completely naked. Oh, dear. Hope I don't have to bend over provocatively to... That's enough, Max.
Watch the hands. No, don't drop it. Oh, for the love of God, don't drop it. Easy, easy now. You can do this, Sam. I believe in you. Steady, steady. Good hands. Give me the old one, too. It's so close I can taste it. Easy, easy. Shut up, Max. A minute. No, idiots. I am engaged in a song trivia contest with this precocious rat child. Guess it's better to say goodbye to you. Goodbye to you. Who? Patty Smite! Hiya, Timmy. Glad to be back from hell. Oh, heck yeah! I'm just disappointed the f poppers never showed up at the hospital. It was my dying wish to see them, because I'm their biggest fan ever! No, Timmy, that's wrong. Max is right. The s poppers are evil, wicked creatures. And besides, I'm their biggest fan ever! No freaking way! Ask me anything about them! Peeper's real name. Easy. It's Dick Peacock. Ah. Sorry, Mr. Max. I'm just a melon farming trivia machine. How are you feeling, Timmy? Better than I ever have in my whole darn life. Shoot! Nuts! Fudge balls! I still got the Tourette's, but that weird ringing in my ears has finally gone away! See you later, Timmy. Have a flippin' great day! Make sure you read the license agreement first, Sam. It's very important. Just start playing. Ha! Beat that! Bravissimo! I think I saw the face of God. You've got to admit it, Specs. <laughs> you just got served like big ziti at a mafia wedding. I don't know what that means, but I don't care. You will pay for this, Salmon Max. Don't be sad. What would you do with a golden fiddle anyway? When this case is over, Max and I will come back to teach you guys about bling.
Oh, baby, I'm going to be loving you all night long. <sighs> Max, what's her situation? Peepers is making the move on Sybil. She's totally into it. Just wanted to make sure my dementia hasn't kicked in early. You can forget all about old Stoneface. Peepers is the only man you need now. Oh, Peepers. You just let Peepers know how you want it, baby. Say my name. Say my name. Hey, Dick Peacock. Ah! What? You ruined everything! What have you done to his eyes? You still want to make out? Oh, hell no! <laughs> well, we've saved Sybil from a lifetime of regret. And given ourselves a blackmail opportunity to secure our financial future. Hey, Grandpa Stinky. We found Stinky's baby book. Good, good. Quick, read page 33. Well, I'm going to take the things about a cover on it. Don't put it in here. Out loud, you cretin. Oh, uh, let's see. Fish sticks, tar, coffee, ice cream. What kind of baby book is this anyway? It's a cookbook! The name of the recipe. Read the name. The Cake of the Damned. Huh? What? what? Maybe you, good sir, would like to hear more about the delicious forbidden fruit of knowledge cider. Oh no. What have I done? Hey guys, you're just in time for the stripper. Ho <laughs> ho ho, boy! Oh god! Ooh, ooh, woo! Yeah! Shake that money maker. Take it off. Take it all off. Yeah! Ooh, ooh, woo mm. Now that's what I'm talking about. Oh yeah! Work it! Work it! Uh-huh. All right. I knew women were hard to find in our neighborhood, but I didn't think it was this bad. You people should be ashamed. It's a living. Ooh, shake that noggin. Bosco, we freed you from your personal hell. You don't have to be naked anymore. Oh, that wasn't part of my hell. I just like to be naked. And I'm not the only one who should be naked! Woohoo! All right!
Take it off! Take it all off! Earn your money, honey! What's your number, honey? These guys go through drinks fast. These guys go through drinks fast. Hey, Bosco. Keep it down. I'm watching the show. It's a cooler full of punch. This ought to add some kick to their punch. Well, boys, another round? Oh, dear. Oh, man. Oh, no. I'm naked. I'm naked. I'm naked. Oh, I thought we were all just saying that. What have I done? I'm so ashamed. There goes my innocence. I should have known hiring a budget stripper was a bad idea. Cool your heels, Flattop. The show's over, but I was just getting started. I knew it. There is no use for me. Conga line, who's with me? I am. There's nothing interesting left inside. Somebody's blocking our office door from the inside. So that's where the Esperanto bookstore went. Should I be disturbed that my personal hell was my own office?
Hey, a bone saw! Gosh, I hope I can find someone's bones to cut. It's magically sealed. No siree. I only want to use it on things with bones. I'm a... Do you mind if we perform some quick elective surgery? Whatever. I'm just a monster with no soul. Who cares about my feelings? Great, thanks! A fool and his bones are soon parted. I got a rib.
No way. What... what happened? Sam turned you back into a cake, but then we... Oh, whatever. Look, Mr. Wizard, thanks for taking all this time to talk to us, but we're not interested. What if you just... The lady said we ain't interested. Then maybe you... I believe the two of us have made ourselves clear. Ah, fine then. It's too good for you chumps anyway. And stay gone! Looks like you two have learned an important lesson about cooperation. Fine. You going to order something? You can't just offer something, woman. You got to push the specials. I think I can do fine without your input, Grandpa. Oh, you can, can you? Good news, Satan. We took care of all three of those poppers. Well done, lads. Now come with me and watch Satan do what he does best. I'm intrigued. Boardroom negotiations and corporate power play. Oh. You've lost, poppers. It's time we put an end to this charade and returned hell to its rightful owner. What Satan said! Poppers! Assume demon form! Behold! Papers the omniscient! He of the death gaze! Oh, bother. Behold! Wizrael the tormentor! It burns when I feel! Behold, Specs the Dominator of... Oh, come on. Those are your demon forms? They're different colors. Why am I always the only one who puts any effort into these things? Sam, I'm not enjoying the poppers anymore. Can I kill them? Not if I get them first. Banish the irritants! 
Sam and Max, we cast you into the pit by the power of the bell. the book and the candle so, so be, be it, it. Unless we learn how to fly, we're destined to spend the remainder of our days on a tiny outcropping surrounded by impossibly hot lava, ash, and soot. I don't mind, Sam, as long as I'm with my best friend. Oh, that's sweet, little pal. Hey, give me one of those pork rinds you were carrying. Sorry, buddy. I already ate them all. We're gonna die! Ha! <laughs> Somebody help! By the ruby red goiters of Rube Goldberg. Look, Max, it's Santa's sleigh. What an unexpected stroke of luck! Or is it, Max? Remember that time long ago when we jacked Santa's sleigh in an effort to save Christmas and drove it recklessly into a hellish vision of the future very much like the one we're standing in now? I stopped paying attention halfway through that sentence. I wonder if our ghosts are here guiding us right now. Hey, past me! Check this out! Classy as always, little pal. Now let's get out of here. around the seventh circle. It's out of power, little buddy. Guess I shouldn't have left the afterburners on. Hello, Commissioner. No, Sam's here. I don't know, he just let me answer it. <clears throat> Is it cold in here to you, Max? I should have worn my mucklucks. What's that, Commissioner? I won the Nobel Peace Prize? Congrats, pal. I can't think of anyone who deserves it more, whose name I'd be able to pronounce. Okay, thanks, Commissioner. 
Okay. G Roger that. Love you, too. Do we have a new case, little buddy? Nah, same one. But Sybil wants me to officiate at her wedding. Well, that'll be fun. We better hurry up and restore the balance of power in hell, then. A little help here, guys. I don't like that we can see him digesting, Sam. It's all part of nature's hideous circle of life, Max. Ice cream in hell, Max. What flavor is it? Hmm, looks like plain vanilla. don't have to be damned to work here, but it helps. Hmm, it looks cold. I can't even get a hot cup of coffee in hell! People really shouldn't leave ritual candles lying around. Nothing doing. No siree. No way. Nope. When we're in charge, no one will ever forget our birthday. cake recipe you had before.
Hey, Max. What? Let's wrap this up pretty quick, little buddy. I've got five months of TV to get caught up on. Yeah, the TV down here is all public broadcast and educational programming. And to think TV was the one thing I was looking forward to in hell. Careful, Max. Hell is slippery when wet or icy. Just a pinch of tar. Damn! A little ice cream. Damn! Nuh-uh. A cup of joe. Damn! Now, through the magic of television, let's see the cake in its final form. You make it look... I'll stick this thing anywhere except my coat. I know three princes of hell who've got a special surprise coming! Why, you... you... you remembered! For us? Oh, you guys! Happy birthday, f poppers! Did someone say... birthday? Miss those guys. Don't ever say that again, Max. And not even as a joke. Well, boys, you've restored the infernal realms to their former glory. Thanks to your quick thinking and irrepressible spirit, hell is safe. I'm not gonna lie. I'm extremely proud of myself right now. We'd better run, Max. Sybil and Abe's wedding will be starting any minute. Later, Beelzebub. Sybil's paying me by the hour. Why don't you come by the reception, Satan? Really? I don't want you to get tired of me so soon, since you're going to be seeing so much of me later. I didn't like the sound of that. 
Don't sweat it, Sam. We're bound to get reincarnated as each other a few times anyway. You crack me up, little blasphemer. Love is in the air, everybody. So hold on tight while we get on board the wedding train. That's right. Are you with the brighter oh. groom, sir? Hmm. Wonder if I don't like either one. Mm -mm -mm. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Abe! You're wearing white. Interesting choice. Dearly beloved, we're gathered here today to celebrate this twisted mockery of holy matrimony. It's so beautiful. I hope they have lots of children. Uh, you would say that. Do you have the ring? Oh, shoot. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Hunter Buck says they don't last three months. Mazel tov! Ready, girls? Anytime! What is it that you do? Listen up, because I'm only going to say this twice. I'm a bug. A bug! Interesting. May I interest you in a new blackmail opportunity? That's so sweet. Thanks for coming. Blackmail! Thank you so much. Enjoy the dinner. You put your left foot in, you put your left foot out, you put your left Little foot in, Jack you put baby. your left foot <laughs> out, <laughs> it's yeah. Bye, kids. Have fun. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. You think we can trust him with our car, Sam? It's possessed by demons, Max. Can we trust the car? With them? We can never be defeated. We'll be back. We'll be back. <laughs>